Hey guys, it's Amber. So today's video is going to be an Ask a Stylist. So today we're going to be talking more about hair care and diving into how you can prepare your hair to go lighter, especially when you're going platinum blonde, and also how you can maintain that health integrity of your hair and keep it looking fresh and just the shade you want it. So first of all, before you go platinum blonde, there are a lot of things to consider. And the very, very first one is the health and the shade of your hair. Now, if your hair is very dark, it's easy to look at like that all over super platinum blonde and think I wanna do that. And you wanna call your stylist or you wanna just grab a tub of bleach. Before you do that, please just wait and just realize that sometimes obtaining that color is a process. So there are many shades that are kind of considered platinum. I mean, my hair, I've toned it down a little bit to be a little bit more cool toned, but this is gonna be on the platinum side, but you're also gonna have people who are a little bit more yellow toned platinum, all the way to an Elsa blonde, which is like a pure white, and then you get into those silvery type platinums as well. So platinum can be kind of a, a wide variety of blonde shades, but basically just talking about very blonde shades or very light all over blonde shades. The next thing is you can be very, very light without having your hair bleached completely solid. If you are going to do the completely solid route, you have to realize that your hair has to be completely blonde. And if it has any of those yellow tones in it, it tends to look a little wiggy and like Barbie hair versus if you do have somebody who balayages it or they foil it really heavy, you can get away with having it not quite so stark of a platinum and have it still look natural. But before you can even get to the point of deciding what kind of shade you want and how much you want it, I mean, even mine, as blonde as my hair is, this is not all the way solid platinum. I did have this foiled in so that I would still have a little bit of natural hair in there. There's not a lot, but it does help soften my roots so as it grows out, it's not as harsh of a line, especially where it's not stark white. Now it's easier for me to go from a medium blonde to platinum in one day because my natural hair color isn't too dark. If you're someone who has a shade of six or darker, which meaning six is like a, a light brown, one being black, 10, 11, 12 being platinum. If you are darker than that, you definitely need to work up to getting to a platinum shade before you can even decide on how blonde you wanna be. My first recommendation would be to go in and get some highlights, get heavily lightened first, and start working towards getting platinum. And if you go to a stylist, they're gonna be able to look at the integrity of your hair and let you know if you're ready to start lightening it today or if there's steps you need to do before you get to that point. So first off, with your integrity of your hair, you need to make sure that your hair is in good condition. For a lot of years, my hair was breaking and I was having some issues, partially because of the products I was using, partially because of my hair's natural texture because it's really baby fine, and also because there wasn't as many advancements in technology to protect your hair and lightening like there are now. So I've kept my hair kind of a, a balayage blonde for a long time, more of a medium blonde, I'll just give you guys a little insert here of what my hair looked like before I went ahead and lightened it. And I kept it that color for such a long time because I'd experienced so much breakage that I was just really feeling like it wasn't possible to lighten it anymore. So about a month, two months ago, I was contacted by a company called Salvatore Cosmetics from Trattubeauty.com and they said, what kind of hair do you have? We'd love for you to try some of our products. So I said, well, I have blonde damaged hair. So they sent out two products, which I did show briefly in my PR haul. One of them being the Nano Reconstructor Shampoo and Conditioning and the Gold Express Shampoo and Conditioner. So I'll share a little bit about what these are supposed to do. So the Gold Express is a treatment that is good for before and after chemical services. So whether you're bleaching it, whether you're perming it, whether you're getting it chemically straightened, this really helps repair the hair and get it ready for the chemical service and also helps keep it healthy afterwards. So this is gonna provide a pH balance and a deep hydration for the hair. Now this one is going to be your reconstructor. This is what's going to help strengthen and fortify your hair. This is what's going to penetrate deeply into the hair and stop breakage. So I like to think of it as grass. So if you wanna have the healthiest, greenest grass, you need some hydration, which would be this. But you also need fertilizer, which is this. So sometimes people say, well, what do I need? Do I need protein or moisture? And I'm like, you need both. 
So having your routine where you can switch back between two different treatments is awesome because it ensures that your hair is going to be moisturized and strong. So I started using this and guys, seriously, like I've used a ton of stuff. I've used Pureology. I've used the most expensive. I've used, you know, less expensive stuff. I've used hotel shampoo and conditioner. I've used a little bit of everything. But when I started using this, I could not believe how healthy my hair got. And I'm not just saying that this isn't sponsored. They didn't pay me to say this or anything, but it seriously got my hair so healthy that I could go blonde. Like this is why I was able to go so blonde was because this made my hair so healthy. So first step one, make sure your hair is healthy. Check these products out. If you guys are looking into going blonde, I highly recommend them. They made all the difference in me being able to lighten my hair as much as I did. Second, I have another video on this, but using some kind of bonder in your hair color or bleach, this is the Olaplex. I have, like I said, a whole video on that, so I won't go into that. And then next is deciding how many processes it's going to take and how light you want to go. So I did have more of just the bleach blonde look when I first started it, and then as it started to grow out, I decided I wanted to go for a little bit cooler blonde. So I actually toned this with the Chroma Silk Express tones that I mentioned in my last Ask a Stylist where I talked about ash hair colors. This is in pearl. So if you're wondering, this is what it looks like. So I'll put a little clip of my hair before and now you can see the difference of having the more yellow tones versus having a little bit more cool toned. So that is kind of what I would recommend for getting your hair really blonde. But to maintain it, if you want to keep it that platinum color, I would suggest getting a purple shampoo. So this is from Matrix. This is the So Silver Total Results. I've had this for a while, so the packaging I know has been updated, but basically finding a purple shampoo that is going to wash into your hair and just kind of tone it when you wash. I don't need to use this every day, but when I start to notice a little bit of brassiness, this is good. Whether you bleach it at home or you bleach it in a salon, your hair is gonna eventually start to yellow a little bit. Just like when you leave paper out in the sun, the sun tends to yellow it. Same thing happens to our hair. So over time, it's good to grab some purple shampoo, wash that in, and make sure you brighten up those blondes. Also, you can always call your stylist and just go in and book a short appointment. These are five minute toners. And if you have a stylist that's willing to use these, these are amazing. I heard about these from Guy Tang. I mean, seriously, you go in the salon, she can put it on the shampoo bowl, wait five minutes, rinse it out, get a blowout. Girl, you be looking amazing. So don't feel like just because you're not ready to go through with a whole retouch or a whole foil again, or you can't afford to do it every four weeks or whatever, you can go in and get your hair toned and it will make such a difference. So last before we go, I just want to mention is make sure you keep your hair healthy and trimmed. If your hair is long and it just looks like a horse's tail, it's it doesn't look good. That's why I cut mine is because it didn't look good. So make sure you're starting off with a nice clean base. Give yourself a nice fresh haircut and you will be so happy because it'll actually look healthier and you'll actually get to feel the smoothness. I love that my hair is blonde, but it still has shine to it. It doesn't feel like this dead crackly thing, you know, where I'm, it's got product in it, but when it's all straight and smooth, it actually shines and it doesn't feel like it's brittle and breaking and I'm not getting breakage out of my hair, which is amazing. So anyway, go ahead and check out the Salvatore Beauty on the Tattoo Beauty website. I think you guys would really, really enjoy this. It is so good. And I will leave their information down below and as well as the toner and the other stuff that I have. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. If you guys have any suggestions or any requests for my next Ask a Stylist video, just leave it down below or you can tweet me on Twitter at Amber's Beauty underscore with the hashtag Ask a Stylist and I'll be happy to make a new video for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like these technical type of hair videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!